Today we're talking about loat leaves, their benefits and why you should use them as well as how to get started using them. Loat leaves that are also known as Indian laurel fig leaves or ficus retusa leaves. They often serve many health benefits and they've got traditional uses in various cultures. Here in the Middle East, for example, we use them to make tea. We also use them as a, a bath soak we use them for so many different things including as incense but they come with many benefits that have been proven first of all they're filled with antioxidants they contain antioxidants such as polyphenols flavonoids vitamin c vitamin e which all help to neutralize harmful free radicals in the body when you consume loat leaf extract or tea this will help to protect cells from oxidative damage and they also reduce the risk of chronic diseases such as heart disease and diabetes. The second benefit is they are filled with anti-inflammatory properties. They have anti-inflammatory properties which can help to reduce inflammation and also reduce symptoms of inflammatory conditions like asthma, arthritis and IBD. Now drinking loat leaf tea or applying loat leaf poultice topically will help to reduce pain, swelling and inflammation associated with these conditions. Also, they are great for the digestive system. They've been used traditionally to support digestive health and, and also reduce gastrointestinal discomfort. And you can get started by drinking loat leaf tea, which will help to reduce the digestive discomfort. It will help to soothe the upset stomach, indigestion, help with bloating as well, as well as promoting general healthy digestion and bowel movements. It is known to help with diabetes management and there has been some research that have suggested that loat leaves are known to help in regulating blood sugar levels and improving insulin sensitivity. Now drinking loat leaf tea or consuming loat leaf extract is beneficial for individuals with diabetes or pre-diabetes as part of a comprehensive management plan. Also if you're looking to improve your skin take loat leaves. Loat leaves have been used topically, traditionally to promote skin health and treat various skin conditions. Applying loat leaf pellets or extracts to the skin are known to help in soothing, irritation, reducing inflammation and promoting wound healing. Loat leaves also have antibacterial properties that are known to help in preventing infection and promoting skin hygiene. Loat leaves are amazing as a respiratory support and they've been used in traditional medicine to support the respiratory health and also support respiratory conditions such as coughs, colds and asthma. Drinking loat leaves or even inhaling the steam from the loat leaf infused water will help to alleviate congestion, soothe irritated airways and promote respiratory comfort. Now I've got three ways to use loat leaves starting with tea. You can start to prepare loat leaves by steeping dried or fresh loat leaves in hot water for several minutes. Strain the leaves and drink as the tea is, uh, you can drink it warm or you can drink it chilled as well. You can also sweeten the tea with honey or add lemon for a flavor if you desire. And the way to use it is as a poultice. Now to make a loat leaf poultice, you start by crushing the fresh loat leaves in a paste and you apply it directly on the affected area. You cover it with a clean cloth or a band-aid and then you leave for about 20 to 30 minutes before rinsing off with warm water and repeat as needed. The third way is to take it as an extract. Now you can go ahead and do your own extract or you can purchase a loat leaf glycerin based extract and it can be prepared also by steeping dried loat leaves in glycerin to extract their beneficial compounds. The extract can also be consumed orally or applied topically to the skin as needed. Now it's always important to make sure you make a, a skin test before you apply the loat leaves topically to the skin just as test a small batch of area that is away from the eyes away from the mouth or any sensitive area also if you are uh, pregnant if you are breastfeeding or if you intend to give it to a child please consult your healthcare professional before doing so Loat leaves can interact with certain medications, so if you are on regular medicine, make sure to ask your doctor for approval before trying loat leaves. I wish you all the best and I'll see you in the next video.